Okay, you've probably heard about exponential growth and when people refer to a phenomenon growing exponentially, the idea they're trying to get across is that whatever it is increasing rapidly. And in fact, uh, exponential models can be used for a number of phenomena, including population growth, compound interest, and other phenomena as well. So let's just take a look at one example to start. Compound interest um, we get when we leave money on deposit for a period of time and do not withdraw the interest but uh, leave the interest in the account to continue earning more interest. So suppose we have a thousand dollars left on deposit for 15 years and that money is earning compound interest at the rate of 8% per year compounded annually. We want to find the amount in the account at the end of 15 years. Okay, so after one year we have some interest earned. 8% of a thousand is $80. Okay, so that amount gets added back to the principal and that gives us 1080 as the balance to start the second year. Okay, so essentially what we've done is we've multiplied the principal by 1.08 or 1 plus the interest rate. Okay, after two years, we get from the same process, we take the balance at the end of one year, multiply by 1.08, and we come up with $1,166.40. Now, a shortcut to getting this answer is just to start with the 1,000 and then multiply by 1.08 raised to the second power. Okay, so notice this exponent is the number of years that that money has been on deposit. And if we continue in this way, after 15 years, we find that the compound amount is three thousand one hundred seventy two dollars and seventeen cents. Now I'd like to show you how to do this on your calculator just in case you don't know. I have a, a little Casio uh, scientific calculator here and you could use any other scientific calculator that you have or a graphing calculator. Doesn't matter. Uh, steps are similar. On my little Casio, this button right here is used to raise a number to a power. Okay, so I'll turn it on. And then I want to raise 1.08 to the 15th power. There it is, and then press equals, and I get my answer, 3.172. I multiply by my original amount, which is 1,000. And I get my final answer, which is $3,172.17, rounded to the nearest cent.